I am KB with The Beat. How are you? Hello, I'm lovely. How are you doing? I am doing well. Um, this film, harrowing, but in some of the greatest ways. Yeah. So, you know, Peter is unassuming, uh, you know, but he's brilliant, and clearly his love for his mother knows no bounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And so while Phil is kind of the obvious bully in the film, what do you feel like Peter learns from Phil that he may use against him later on? Um, I think... I mean, that's a, that's a lovely question, but I, to answer quickly, I guess, um, if I was to put more time into thinking about it, I, I could give you something there. But I, I personally believe that he doesn't necessarily learn too much from him. And maybe you could counter and, and, and tell me something that you saw there. But I think he's just polar opposite in his nature and in how he carries himself. Um, he hasn't had to, unfortunately, suppress anything of, of who he is. Um, and in fact, he's done quite the opposite. He's completely embraced who he is, even the abstract and the, and the strange. Um, and I think that's an extremely powerful, powerful thing about him and something I kind of took on myself, I feel like. But uh, yeah, I mean, he's, yeah, you, you don't really see him coming, I feel like. So he's, he's um, the word is escaping me right now, but yeah. Yeah, you definitely never see him coming. I yeah. definitely, it's a film I'm going to have to watch, I feel like, a few more times to mm -hmm. really pick up on the subtleties of Peter and catch up really on the things that are left unsaid, you know, just kind of when he's interacting with Phil as well. Definitely, definitely. I mean, there's, a, there's so much to that, and I think that is because, you know, of the Thomas Savage's book. I mean, if you were to go and explore that, you'll see how many other layers there are that we, we couldn't even fit into the film itself. Um, but it is just, there's so many layers, there's so many allegories and, and kind of metaphors, you know, um, within it that, that invite you to, to explore, um, which I think is a really beautiful thing because we, we, we miss that a lot these days in cinema and we are told how to feel and we're told which way to go and we're told what an ending is, whereas this one, you have to participate in it, you have to think about it and not only throughout the duration of the film, but afterwards too, it will haunt you in the best way possible, like you said, you know, you'll just keep thinking about it, um, which I think is, is why it's so enjoying to, to watch it a second time through. Yeah, and you mentioned something, you know, I feel like this movie is very heavy and obviously you took on a method approach to portraying Peter in some ways. So what did you yourself do to kind of balance your mental health during shooting this film and even after, after you let the character kind of go and, and be off into the world? True, good, good question. I think um, a great deal of, of kind of protection um, of work to do in, in to protect yourself in terms of emotions and heavy themes is actually not so much in the end but rather in the beginning it's it's where you do all of your work and preparation I try to always completely immerse myself in a character's world motive and intention and the way I do that is by reading the script countless times I drain it of everything it's worth and of course if it's based on a book I read that equal times as well um, but there will always be things that aren't in the book, you know, some blank spaces that I have to fill in. And it, it's that work that gives you the ability to define the difference between you and your character and switch it on and off and, and, and surrender it and let it go when it's over. Um, but I, I do remember specifically, because uh, we were so isolated in New Zealand for some time, I went to the closest town and I, I spontaneously bought a guitar and uh, it's always been a craft that I pick up and put down throughout my life but uh, on this one specifically it helped me quite a bit to kind of refresh the creative process. Hmm, that makes sense. Well, I hope that when you picked up the guitar, you learned some incredible music, and now you know you're going to be a little superstar. I want to, I want to see some music from you. I did. <laughs> in in the fact, future. amazingly yes. enough, I ended up working on Baz Luhrmann's Elvis biopic. Oh, yes. I ended up singing and playing guitar in that, and that was perfect timing. To, yeah, all of like that. Like kismet. You yeah. Know? <laughs> exactly. I love that. I love exactly. It. Well, thank you so much for chatting with the beat. Thank really you. appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. And marvelous, marvelous performance. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>